Good morning, y'all. Pearl Woods here. Trail, call me what you want to call me. And today, ugh, there you go. We're going camping. I've got the tent in the back here. We're gonna head up to uh, gonna head up to Galena, and then we're gonna go to. Uh, well, we're we're starting. We're gonna go from here to Iowa Dubuque. Uh, then we're gonna hit Galena tomorrow. So we're going to from here to Dubuque now. Uh, check some sites out. This is a little weekend trip. Just a little weekend trip. I want you guys to come along with me. So we are heading to Galena for, or we heading to Dubuque first. Staying in Dickieville, looking at some stuff up there, heading out to Galena tomorrow morning. Uh, it's Friday right now, so Saturday morning we're going to be in Galena, do a tram tour, go around, look at the area. My grandma always wanted to go to the Butte, or go to Galena, but she's getting at the age where I'm going to live it through her, and I'm going to bring my camera, and I'm going to take all these really good pictures for her. So Galena's the main stop, stay there, and then I'm going to head down, I'm going to head back through Dubuque, south in Iowa, over like the Mississippi River. Take the Mississippi River all the way down, cut over, get to Oswego where I'm going to be camping. I'm going to be camping in this thing. I'm going to be riding this thing in grass. Should not rain at all. Hopefully no mud, nothing like that. Um, regardless, yeah, we're going to be camping this weekend. I'm pretty excited. Start rock on Sunday and head back home on Mon or head back home on Sunday. So quick little three-day trip, about 480 miles. I'm going to try to stretch to 500 miles. Uh, I think it's going to be a good time. Uh, at the recording of this video, it has been uh, about a little bit over five weeks since I've been to, um, since I went to Niagara and the trip I have not even edited yet. So why I'm recording a new one, we don't know, but I've got a trip to uh, Minnesota next weekend and then our regional trip uh, the following weekend. So I've got a lot of miles I'm going to start putting on. Had some things happen with the bike, I'll discuss them later uh, in this video, but yeah, we've got her all set up. A uh, little mod. I want to show you guys without doxing myself. Look at that. I got new headlights. So I've got LEDs on it. Uh, very happy about that. The LEDs look great. I'm baby faced. I'm shaving. And uh, we're going to do the same thing as last time and just hope I get good footage. I don't have a helmet mount for my helmet. So it's going to be kind of funny uh, trying to record. I know the, I know the Canada video is going to turn out a little weird because uh, I didn't really have anywhere to mount a camera for any POV riding. But yeah, I'm very excited. We're gonna cross uh, cross our fingers, pray that everything goes correct on this trip. Little weekend trip, I just love, I love going out on my rides and I've been working a lot, a lot, a lot of overtime. So I feel like I just need this for myself just to get out, get out the house and go on a little adventure. And hopefully you'll see, uh, you'll see us on a fun weekend trip, so. Yeah, let's get it going. Let's get it going. Let's get it going. I'm packed. I'm ready. Um, all I'm going to do is check my tire pressure because uh, I had a hole in Izzy's tires. So actually, uh, if you guys want to take a look at that real quick, Izzy has some brand new 404s on the back and on the front because uh, I was doing a ride. I was helping block a ride actually and Izzy's uh, rear tire uh, got a nail in it and by the time we got to our like the dump and you know how like blocking goes you got to be you got to be quick you got to get to the front of the line by the time i was when blocking my rear tire had four psi in it four 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 this number thank god we had a mobile inflator kit to get me to somewhere we passed the tire got home i got new tires on both bikes i have uh the normal tires on izzy the d fuel fours on kali i have a pair of four i have a 404 on the back but a lot of people online always recommend going down from a 150 to a 130 front. So I ordered a U-Set 130 front, 150 rear, just to kind of see if I liked it. Uh, so far, the 130 has been great. I love how it feels. Um, it's a little shaky at uh, high speeds, but marusing around town, it's great. And also, you guys, again, these are just things you're going to hate me for, right? Got four PSI in the rear tire. On Cali, actually... Um, <laughs> I never noticed, but I had a rear tire on the front, so I was running two rears and a, that's funny. B, I can't believe I did four and a half thousand miles like that. And C, it explains why it sucked at low speeds and why it was so great on the highway, like literally pin perfect on the highway. Never, ever had it sway, no wind, nothing. I was on group rides and everybody else and their baggers were like, doing this and my bike was just cruising through because I had two rear tires, two flat tires. It was crazy. But yeah, let me check my rear tire pressure. 
We're gonna get going, get right on the road. It's about 74 degrees. So like the optimal temperature to get on the highway, if not like a, a degree cool. I'm very excited. It's supposed to be perfect weather, perfect weekend, perfect everything. Five minute intro, no riding at all, but let's change that. Let's get on the road, baby. Look at this. We're at a lookout point in Savannah, Illinois. This is freaking beautiful. And she looks good. Look at that. The buggy. And the watch looks good. Look at that shit. So I'm, I got dinner, right? I'm in Dubuque. I made it to Dubuque. Look at this game, bro. I used to play this when I was a kid. Oh my god. Cruising worm. That's fucking... That shit just laughed at me, bro. What the fuck? We just checked in to the Tri-States Wooden or the Wisconsin Wooden. Um, thirty dollars, oh, thirty-five dollars for the night. So can't say no to that. Um, fucking tired. It's a uh, ten forty, ten fifty. Went to the casino, lost twenty bucks. You win some, you lose some. Am I right? So we're gonna go ahead. Wrap up tonight, I gotta charge my shit. I got all this stuff in the bag. I gotta also uh, grab my charger for my phone while I'm here. But yeah, it was a good night tonight, good day today. A lot of fun riding, beautiful roads. I'm just glad to be out of the city, you know? I love my city, but there are times when I'm just glad to be out of it. So wake up in the morning tomorrow morning. Uh, hit a different, hit nine, uh, or Q, Q Casino. And then we're gonna go out to Galena and spend the morning and kind of day there, and then we're gonna t we're gonna come back up through uh, where we just were in Iowa, go down south Mississippi River, and then we're gonna see if we can camp with this thing. I don't really know. If we're gonna see. We're gonna. It's more about like the off roading that I'm I'm nervous about because that's a heavy that's a heavy girl, and like parking it overnight because you gotta get it like a wood brick or something so it doesn't sink into the ground. But uh, yeah. Woods out. See y'all in the morning. Good morning, my beautiful people. It is uh, 8.35, so we're about an hour and a half behind schedule. It is currently an unbelievable 59 degrees um, with a high of like 74 today. And it is August. We're in the dead smack dab dick middle of August. It is August 10th. And it is a high of 74 today, which I've never felt, you know, this genuinely feels like a fall morning and I'm, I love it, but obviously I didn't really pack for it. Uh, I packed for it to get just a little warmer than it said it was going to be. I'm fine now, but, uh, if you're going to be traveling, uh, my biggest recommendation is to have a set of summers and a set of like winters or cold, you know what I mean? Cause I have my summer gloves and they're fine. But in the, uh, at night in the cold, it got chilly. So it's nice to have a pair of winters as well. Uh, Izzy's looking good this morning. She's all condensed. Um, we're really starting to get our bugs up in the front here. You can see them. You know, that's what happens when you go into Wisconsin. But man, she looks damn good this morning. Um, the only thing I have left to do on her is the front calipers are pretty squeak. 
so I'm swapping out the fronts but I already put um, I already put a new uh, brake master cylinder it's right here I already put a brake master cylinder on here because my old one actually failed on me um, when I was out of town so I had to limp home with no front or with no rear brake so we ended up putting a new rear brake master um, as you guys can see I actually have shark roads shout out to shark road um, held on with a garden clamp but um, I think for longer trips I'm gonna actually take the sharks off because the droning is really loud and I can barely hear my music so I have to crank my music up to hear it and then you know that defeats the purpose of relaxing I'm, now I'm like now my ears are getting destroyed um, when I put when I had um, my buddy do the headlights uh, I helped with the fairing and I think I tightened the fairing too much because I accidentally uh, gave it a wee bit of a crock there as you guys can see there's a wee bit of a crock on the fairing not very happy about it but it is what it is um, we're gonna get to the road we're gonna get to Galena um, I think yeah we're gonna do Galena stay there we got a, a tram tour I'm excited to take because you know me architecture nerd I guess you don't know me but architecture nerd so we're gonna go on a little tram tour and then we're gonna uh yeah get back out on the road see what's going on man she looks so fucking good this morning holy cow making me forget I want breakfast I don't know what I'm gonna eat for breakfast we in a small town Dickieville small town I'll see y'all <laughs> I'll see y'all when we get back on the road Alright, so it's currently noon. I uh, got to Galena here around 10, 10.30. Uh, got some coffee. Well, raspberry lemonade. Uh, got a little thing. Check this out. So this is a cannon, the Bakley rifle. It was actually the first cannon to be fired in, con in combat on the American continent. That's pretty swell. And it reminds me of me, because I'm the first American on the American continent. But what does not remind me of me is this view. So I'm waiting for my tram tour. Tram tour is at like two. So I waited for two to come so I can go get on the tour again. It's noon, so I like just missed the first tram. There's a farmer's market. Obviously you can see I'm in spirit. Got my dad Galena shirt on. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Weather's absolutely perfect. It's like 71 right now. Um, I have a really cool route planned. Actually, I'll show you guys the route while while you guys are with me right now before I go back and take a nap. Um, Uh-oh, it got rid of my route. Good thing I took a screenshot of it. Okay. So, my route's going to look like this. So, I'm going to take Galena back through Dubuque. Then I'm gonna cut around. My first stop's gonna be in Clinton. You can see I'm along the, the Mississippi River. My goal is to stay on the west side of the river. So Clinton, another town, and then I'm gonna go through Davenport, uh, cut under and east all the way to my location. I gotta be at for camping, so yeah. Absolutely beautiful, you can see the bridge over there. You've got all that, all the bells just rang because it was noon. You see people kayaking and running through here. I really want to see a train. I'm not sure if trains go on this line yet or not, but um, regardless, I'm gonna get back, take my little nap. Uh, you guys can see some other monuments here. And uh, I'll let you know when I'm done with my trolley tour and when we can get back on the road.
Good evening, y'all. It is, I can't tell you what time it is, 8.26 p.m. As you can see, we're in the camp spot. We got Kali over here. She's looking pretty. The guy was nice enough to give me a uh, little thing here so I could prop her up. We're in the middle of nowhere. Like, we are literally in the middle of nowhere. That's my spotlight. Got a little campfire. The tent, as you can see, there's a little creek down there and everything, but I take this time to relax, enjoy myself, and uh, go to bed. So, end the night two. Night two. Night two is going pretty well. I'll see you guys in the morning for night three. Good night, y'all. Good morning, y'all. Um, rough night of sleep last night. Um, I had no pillows, no blanket, just all the leftover clothes. That's all I had to lay, and we were on like hard floor. I thought it was gonna be like, you know, I thought it was gonna be rough. <laughs> I thought it was, well, I thought it was gonna be grass, but it ended up being like floors and stuff, like hard floor. So you can tell by the way I'm talking that I've got no idea what I'm doing. Um, I'm in Lowe's right now. Loves. We got our own little shower, you dig? And uh, so I'm in a shower and enjoy my enjoy my warm little shower. Get a nice good morning. And then we're gonna head up back on the road. We're gonna go Star Rock. I'm so excited. Star Rock. And then we get to go home. And that's what I'm excited about more because now I'll have my own bed. So I'll see you guys at Star Rock. Good afternoon, everybody. <laughs> Um, as you guys can see from my last cut, I was at Love's uh, at a truck stop getting a truck shower from a whole bunch of trucks. And uh, after that, I ended up going out to Starved Rock. It said they opened at 9, but it was just a visitor center, so we uh, ended up getting there around 8. Walked around. I'm going to show you guys some pictures I took on the DJI. Not sponsored. And um, yeah, I got to go on the walk. It was nice. was there from about 8. Uh, to about 10.30, and then rode about two hours home. So got home around 12.30, 12.45. Uh, all in all, a great morning, regardless of the energy level. It ended up being a great morning. Got to see some beautiful stuff. My background is super blurred out, uh, or blown out uh, from the extreme sunlight we have right now. But I just wanted to give you guys a little conclusion. You guys, again, seeing some pictures of the trip. Uh, ended up being 500 and... 500 miles, 500 miles. Uh, I'll put the exact number up on the screen. It was a great weekend, and I hope you guys got to enjoy my very rudimentary way of showing it to you. I am currently actually editing, and I realized I had no video from Starved Rock, so uh, hi, this is it. Um, I hope you enjoyed. I really hope you did. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and record or uh, edit the 4th of July uh, road trip I had all the way to Niagara. Um, yeah, we went from Chicago to Chicago to Dubuque, up to uh, Dickeyville, down to Galena, all the way down uh, the west side of the Mississippi River in Iowa, crossed over in Clinton and shot all the way to Starved Rock, um, and that's where I, that's my trip. That was my trip, and it was great, and it was 500 miles. Next weekend, got about 1,100 miles to do because we're going to head all the way out to Minnesota, so hopefully I'll be able to make a video for you guys there. If not, I will see you guys um, with my next random tech review that ends up getting way more views than any of this stuff. <laughs> um, I want to get videos done on the bikes too, like uh, reviews of the bikes or videos, updates on the bikes. Uh, on Izzy and Kali. Kali's getting a new plate soon. I'm very excited about that, but... I will see you guys in the next video. Love y'all. Please like and subscribe. Get me to 300 subscribers. If you get me to 300 subscribers, I'll roast a marshmallow and put some chocolate and graham crackers on it and eat it for you guys. All right? See you guys later.